Where I grew up, the dollar store didn't sell produce. I really wonder what the quality is gonna be. Is it edible? We'll find out. I do not think I could be easier to waste to the dollar store. Call your mama, tell your friend, talk to your politician, send them a link. Zero Waste Journey is back. I'm gonna be making a zero waste meal with produce from the dollar store. Where I grew up, the dollar store didn't sell produce, but in California, it seems to be a thing. What are we gonna make? I have no idea. We're going in blind with no game plans. Either it's gonna be beautiful or it'll be a disaster. I want it to be a little bit of both. Okay, we're looking parking? for produce. Look at all this packaging. Oh my God, there's a pumpkin. Maybe we'll make something with pumpkin because this there's no packaging. She thinks I'm Chef Boardie or something. But my biggest question is because the produce is less expensive, I really wonder what the quality is gonna be. Yeah, there's a whole produce section. There's a whole grocery store. This is really cool that all this is 99 cents though. There's a really wide variety of produce. I'm seeing a lot of things in packaging, mm -hmm. but I'm actually seeing some unpackaged things. Yes. So I do think we're gonna be able to make something. Why does everything have to have packaging? It takes more time, more energy to put things in bag and preserve it than it does to actually have the produce. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Look, there's squash. Maybe wow. that could be like the base of something. Yeah. You know what we could do? We could make a pasta with spaghetti squash because you, you can use the spaghetti squash as pasta. That'd be great. And avocados. I don't know for what, but I always get avocados. Maybe we can make a pesto sauce with the avocado. So we need garlic and walnuts. I found a package free corn. I don't see any other corns. Oh, we could have asparagus. This is pretty unpackaged. Yeah, why not? I love pomegranate. I love pomegranates too. A little sweet treat for the kids. Oh, the garlic. Oh, yeah. the garlic's in packaging. I think we might have to do it because we do need garlic. Growing up, I definitely went to the dollar store a lot. I have a lot of great memories. And especially, I don't know, someone like me who grew up in a food desert, the town that I lived in with my family in to South Carolina, all they had was a Dollar General and a gas station. I like that dollar stores exist because sometimes they give opportunities and food resources to neighborhoods that don't really have it. Every time when I was little, before I went to the movies with my dad, we'd come to the dollar store and then we'd buy a bunch of candy and then I'd stuff it in my coat and sneak it into the movies. Honestly, that's why my mom taught me the love of the big purse. So here's some nuts. We got the nuts. But can we find walnuts? And they're all in packaging. Here we go, walnuts. Perhaps there's a more zero waste meal that we could make, but we have to make a meal yeah. somehow. Maybe you there's can't go a to multiple places like we usually do. You want to get a wine? An affordable meal at an affordable price. Eco. I'm excited. This is very bourgeoisie de la store. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to prep the spaghetti squash. I'm gonna cut it in half. This is thick. You want me to do it? It makes me nervous. She's chaotic with the knife. This is not tasty. This is, yes. We are not tasty. Tara, our DP, is cutting it for us. Thank you, Tara. Oh, Thank, wow. oh, wow. We're gonna get it prepped to roast. I'm gonna stab it with a fork a bunch of times. We can do like this. I'll just think about all my exes. Now we're gonna take out the seeds. Gonna compost it for the environment. Back to the soil from whence it came. You know you sound like a witch. Well, I don't think that's completely off. We're putting olive oil on the squash, we're putting salt and pepper, and then we're putting it face down on the pan. So I'm gonna cut off the ends of these asparagus. Okay, I don't know if all the knives in my house suck. There we go. Now we're going to put salt, pepper, and oil on the asparagus. We're assuming everyone has salt, and pepper, and oil at their home, so we didn't get that yeah. at the dollar store. And now they go in the oven. How long are we gonna bake it? We're gonna bake the asparagus and the spaghetti squash for about 30 minutes. Okay, I'll set mm -hmm. a timer. Ooh, what a power press. Zero waste is cool, but it's not just up to the individual. Like, we also need corporations and governments to take some action, too. Yeah. Those cats are having a time. Uh, they usually do when people are around. Why, they like to show off? Yeah, they like to play and be stars. What are we gonna do with these pomegranates? Should we put them on the asparagus for our side? Okay. She really hate it. Should we do fresh corn, or do you wanna saute it? 
It's hard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know, I hate making decisions. Let's up to it. I'm actually excited for this meal. I think it's gonna be tasty. It's gonna be delish. We're having like very kernel centric food today. We, we have, are. Like, these like pomegranate kernels and then we yeah. have the corn kernels. We're just like so like vegan, ego friendly. Like no animal has been dying in the making of this meal. You know, I love a little bit of oregano. From the cupboard. Let's start on the pesto. I don't know if we can actually call it a pesto because we don't have a cheese element. It's more like a avocado sauce. If I can open these, I'm not used to plastic anymore, okay? We're gonna blend up the walnuts. She cut an avocado. Everyone know. Boop, 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 avocado. And now we add garlic. Avocado. We're gonna add the olive oil. We're gonna salt it, mm -hmm. keep it salty. Should we try it? Yeah, let's try it. Okay. Mmm, that's really good. Yeah? yeah? Does it need anything else? I mean, a little more salt. It yeah. kind of tastes like pesto. It, it tastes like pesto's vegan sister. The squash and asparagus are ready. Ooh. Yummy. It's very steamy. I'm gonna just start spaghetti-ing. This is riveting. Yeah, it looks pretty easy. Squash that somehow looks like spaghetti? That's mind-blowing. Spaghetti. Look at all this spaghetti squash. This is like the perfect date food. I might make my holes this from now on. We're gonna put that pesto in, baby. Nothing looks pretty than we do. <laughs> Nothing. I can't tell if it looks appetizing or not. You know what, at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll taste good because it smells good. We have our delicious pasta. We have our asparagus and we have our corn, which we're gonna put in the spaghetti squash and top off the pomegranates on the asparagus. Wow, dude, wow. Would you ever think that this was all from the dollar store? I literally have this full meal with full wine from Le Dollar Store. Cheers to the dollar store. You ready to try it? I am. This is really good. That is really good. Wow. I was worried that at the dollar store we wouldn't be able to find anything package free. Mm -hmm. But for a whole meal, this is really not that bad for trash. Yeah. And this is the food waste. But look, this is gonna go back into the earth. It's gonna fertilize the ground. It's gonna make more food. Yeah, we're gonna compost this. I think that we kind of showed you can be zero waste on a budget today. You can. I think I'm definitely gonna make more meals from the dollar store. Girl, we're gonna charge like a freaking $40 for this. We are gonna start a business where mm -hmm. we just source food from the dollar store <laughs> and then charge $60 a plate. Literally. 